Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at the Canvas Renderer mod for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.1. I'm also going to check out some shaders for the Canvas Renderer mod called Lumilights. Now Canvas Renderer is a shaders and optimization mod for Minecraft Java Edition on version 1.18.1 and the Lumilights shaders are compatible with the Canvas Renderer mod and as you guys can see I am in the game now. I am using the Lumilights shaders alongside the Canvas Renderer mod for my Minecraft Java game. So I'm going to show you guys how to set everything up today and I'm going to show you guys how to configure some of the options for Canvas Renderer and how to configure some of the options for the Lumilights shaders as well on Canvas Renderer for version 1.18.1. I'm also going to leave a link in the description which will show you guys where to get the Canvas Renderer mod from and where to get the Lumilights shaders from as well and how to set everything up inside your minecraft java game so as you guys can see currently i am in my minecraft java game on version 1.18.1 and i do have the lumilites shaders enabled and everything just looks really nice i do like these shaders i think they look really nice and really cool they do have some cool features like dynamic lighting emissive ores and some cool shader effects as well which i will go through later on inside the game if we go into our mod section and if I click onto the canvas renderer as you guys can see over here it says Minecraft renderer for fabric supporting the Frex API and if I click on the configure button over here it takes us to the canvas renderer configuration screen where I can go ahead and choose a different shaders which are called the pipelines and I can actually go ahead and choose some different tweak options here and some different debug options as well and I can actually go into the pipeline options and configure the specific shader options as well if I want to do that. I can also get to that menu by going into the options screen, clicking on video settings and then clicking on this button over here that says canvas and then I can actually choose the same settings like I showed you. And as you guys can see I am running this on 18 render distance and I am getting some good FPS inside my Minecraft game compared to the vanilla game where I'm not getting that much good FPS inside my Minecraft game. So let me go ahead and change the time today so i can show you guys some of the daytime graphics so as you guys can see we have some nice looking graphics here inside our minecraft game we have some shadows that you would expect in higher end shader packs like bsl or silders vibrant shaders we also have some cool character shadows and they are quite defined as well they are quite sharp i will go through some other shader options later on where we can actually select the lighter versions of this shader pack which actually is a lower version version of the shader pack but it does actually give us higher performance you do also get the moving grass as you guys can see over here and we also get some moving leaves on the trees as well so let me go over here to the trees and you can see the leaves are also moving so this is similar to what we would expect in other shader packs like bsl or silders vibrant shaders we do also have a moving cloud so as you guys can see we have some nice textured looking clouds over there and they are moving as well i I do like this shader pack i think it looks really cool it's a nice mixture of vanilla and higher end shaders i do prefer this clean look in the minecraft java game on version 1.18.1 we do also have dynamic lighting so let me just change the time to night time and as you guys can see i do have a torch in my hand and if i switch away from the torch it does actually make it darker around me but when i do equip the torch in my hand it does actually illuminate everything around me and make it much brighter if i go into third person view you can see that just by switching between the torch and this redstone ore it does actually make everything much brighter and dimmer like so you can also see some reflection there on my armor and this is thanks to the pbr effect of the lumi lights shader pack which i will discuss later on as you guys can see we also have a block over here which is glowing and this is the jack o lantern minecraft block and it is glowing as well we also do have the emissive ores resource pack enabled for the canvas renderer mod and because of that we are able to see the ores glowing in the dark like so so you can see the redstone ore is glowing compared to the vanilla ore which do not glow and the canvas renderer mod we are able to output this 
or as glowing. So it's a really cool effect. I do like it. If I switch away from the torch, you can see the glow even clearly now. So if you guys are looking for a mod that gives you the emissive ores in your Minecraft Java game and gives you those glowing ores, then do check out the Lumi Lights shader pack alongside the canvas renderer combination. If I switch back to the daytime, you can see that we do have some nice graphics over here and everything just looks really nice. If I go into the options, click on video settings, go to canvas, we can see that we have this section here that says features and in the pipeline section, I can actually click into this and I can choose a different options over here. So we have canvas basic, canvas dev, canvas standard, and then we have the different options here for the Lumilite's shader pack. One thing that's really interesting with the canvas renderer mod is that the shader packs are not actually saved inside a shader packs folder. Instead, they are loaded as resource packs. So if I go back inside my game and click on resource packs over here, you can see that I have two columns over here that says available and selected. And in the selected section, it does say Lumi lights over here and Lumi PBR and Lumi PBR EXT. And they are enabled because they are showing in the selected section here. I also have another resource pack called emissive ores, as you guys can see over there. And we have the standard canvas extras and canvas default resource packs as well, which give us the default canvas renderer settings in our Minecraft Java game. If you guys are setting this up and you do want to use the Lumilites texture shader pack, then do make sure that your resource packs are in this particular order. So starting from the bottom, you should have default. It should then say fabric mods, and then it should say canvas default. On top of that, you should have the canvas extras, and then you should have Lumilites, which is the basic resource pack for Lumilites. And then you should have the Lumi PBR resource pack on top of that. And on top of that, you should have the Lumi PBR EXT resource pack file. If you are deciding to use the emissive ores texture file, then also do make sure that that is on the very top of the selected column section over here, like so. So just make sure that your selected section looks something like this, and the resource packs and the shader packs should work in your canvas renderer for Minecraft Java 1.18.1. Then you can go into canvas and then click on the pipeline section over here and choose your different pipeline options options like so. Let's go ahead and select the canvas basic option over here and click on save and quit and let's see how that looks inside our game. So as you guys can see this is something close to the vanilla look as we can expect in our Minecraft Java game. However if I bring up my MSI afterburner counter over here you can see that I am getting close to 400 FPS in my Minecraft game like so. In my vanilla game I do get much lower FPS do bear in mind that I am using 18 render distance chunks here and simulation chunks. I am also using 18 or 19 like so. So as you guys can see, just by using 18 render distance, I am able to achieve close to 500 to 600 FPS in my Minecraft Java game with minimal lag spikes. If I was using the vanilla game, I would be getting a much lower FPS in my Minecraft Java game. So I am able to get a nice performance boost by using the canvas basic pipeline alongside the canvas renderer mod as you guys can see. So if I go back into video settings and if I click on this pipeline option over here, let's go ahead and select the Lumilite 0.3x and then click on save and quit and see how that looks inside our Minecraft game. As you guys can see, the shadows are quite minimal inside the game. And if I have a look at my character shadow over here, you can see it is much more blurry compared to the Lumilite's 4x option as you guys saw earlier and that is the same for other types of shadows inside our Minecraft game as you guys can notice over here. So it does have that nice cool sharp shadow effect with the 4x pipeline option. If I go back into the pipeline over here and select the Lumilites light option over here and it, as you guys can see it says Lumilites without shadows. So basically that is going to get rid of all of the shadows and only leave us with the default looking look there. So as you guys can see my character has no shadows whatsoever. So if you guys are struggling to run the Lumilites shaders for any reason, then you can consider using the Lumilites light 
pipeline option like I just showed you. Let's go back and change this to the 4x option for now. You can also change different options. So if I click on the pipeline options over here, this is going to change the settings for the shaders. And as you guys can see, we have shadow options, we have performance options, which have been enabled as you guys can see. We also have lighting options over here. We also have sky options and the clouds options as well and we also have fog settings as well so you can actually go ahead and change stuff like underwater fog density or the normal fog density as well inside your game and we also have some miscellaneous options as well such as watercolor mode for example and then we also have some experimental settings over here and finally some debug settings as well if i go back as i mentioned earlier we do actually get some nice options to play around with let's go ahead and change the sky color so as you guys can see it says lumi sky color and it, this is the natural azure selection here in my opinion this is probably the best looking sky that i've noticed but let's go ahead and choose the other option which is the bright cyan option over here so let's click on save and quit and let's go back inside our game so as you guys can see the sky color has changed to a more cyan type looking sky color let's go ahead and change that option again and choose the other sky color that we could have selected here so i'm going to click into this and this one is called deep cerulean so i'm going to click on save and quit and let's take a look at how that one looks so as you guys can see this is a more cooler type look there with a much more darker blue color sky so if you guys do like this sky you can go ahead and choose it over the other options i'm going to go back and revert to the default options so i can just click on that reset button for the different options and go back to the default settings you can also use this to see if you have made any other selections and then you can just reset those settings to default if you're not sure so as you guys can see i've changed the name tag shadow and screen space ambient occlusion settings here and it is showing me a reset button for those options i'm going to click on save and quit and go back inside the game and this is what the default sky color looks like and i do think that this look does actually look quite nice as you guys can see we have the hills over there alongside the moving clouds and i do like that look for this particular game in the minecraft java edition version 1.18.1 so if you guys are looking for an alternative to iris shaders and sodium and optifine and you guys want to check out a new mod that features some cool looking shaders and features then do check out the canvas renderer mod i think you guys will enjoy this mod as i mentioned earlier canvas renderer not only allows us to use shaders but it also allows us to have some nice performance in our minecraft java game i will also leave a link in the description on where you guys can go ahead and download the lumi lights shaders from where you can download the canvas renderer mod from and how to set everything up inside your minecraft game so do make sure that you check out that link in the description description that is going to help you out and getting everything set up if you guys have any comments or queries or questions about the canvas renderer mod on version 1.18.1 or the lumilides shaders on version 1.18.1 then do leave them in the comment section below i will do my best to try and help you guys out do also let me know what kind of performance are you guys getting by using the canvas renderer compared to sodium and compared to optifine are you getting a better performance with canvas renderer or worse performance with the canvas renderer mod if you enjoyed the video please do give us a like and also please do subscribe to this channel help support it help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching